Hi, I'm Matt Verna. On um, RV Verna, or the Verna ruling is uh, my court case. We struck down the marijuana law. It comes into effect in Ontario on July 11th. I am currently exempt from the marijuana law. The marijuana law for possession of marijuana and the cultivation of marijuana by court order. Uh, and we worked very hard to do that case. Health Canada testified and the judge believed our 22 witnesses, not Health Canada. So it's a 107 page ruling. The week after it came out, I got a boilerplate uh, notice of appeal from uh, Public Prosecutions Canada saying we are now going to appeal your ruling. Here's the appeal notice. And then um, we have now a time clock is going until July 11th. It hasn't stopped yet. Go to hashmob.ca to see when the uh, marijuana law falls because we have a clock going for that. The current status is, is that uh, sometime it, the, court, the case will be appealed. We are fighting, going to fight that very, very hard, just like we've been fighting for the last three years. To do this, because the Court of Appeal doesn't move as fast as that 90-day deadline, the Government of Canada is seeking an injunction. They want a timeout. So we'll be in court sometime before that deadline, most likely at the end of June, and uh, we'll be at the Ontario Court of Appeal. Check my Facebook and our Cannabis Culture to find out that date because we're going to have a smoke out on that date and uh, the, both sides are going to argue, one, the federal government will argue that they deserve a timeout, we're going to argue that they don't deserve a timeout. Uh, to do that, on Friday we had to cross-examine Health Canada because they would like to introduce an affidavit that says they can't complete the uh, rewriting of the regulations within 90 days. The Myrna ruling greatly opens up access to medicinal marijuana in this country. It hugely opens up access. So, after an hour of uh, rambling around Health Canada and them getting nowhere, happy 420, uh, after they sort of rambled around and started checked, avoiding our questions and being obtuse, uh, she sort of just gave up the ghost, so to speak. Health Canada testified that they are getting out of the marijuana industry and they are going to do exactly what Health Canada and other government agencies do, which is regulate an industry. So they're going to regulate the cannabis, medical cannabis industry. How they do that, it is a long process to do. It'll take them a two, well, 24 months for sure. Um, so they sort of gave that up. Look, we're going to get out of this process. We don't want to we don't want to do this anymore. And it's kind of a conservative thing is to regulate industry. How it happens, I'm not sure yet. I know some processes for regulation. So we asked them if they would consult with compassion clubs. They said they would consult with compassion clubs. They said they would consult with Canadians. They said they would consult with medical marijuana patients. They said they would consult with uh, naturalists our naturopaths, herbalists, the Canadian Medical Association, doctors, they're going to engage in a massive consultation process. The end result being is that they no longer want to be in the selling of marijuana, in the supplying of marijuana, and they want to be involved in the regulating of marijuana. How that all plays out, I'm not Prescient. I don't know the future, how that would ever play out. Um, I'm positive that that's going to work out amazing. I am very, very positive that we are winning. I'm not going to take this negative attitude approach. I'm going to take the approach that Health Canada has come to the table on Friday and has said, look, we're going to start negotiating terms of surrender with the cannabis community. So it will be up to us to involve ourselves in that regulatory process. And by that, I mean you're going to have to be involved and engaged. So that's the big news. That's what's coming up in the case. We'll be in court of appeal. We'll be negotiating with Health Canada. Their terms of surrender, as we think we're going to start calling that. And uh, things are exciting around me these days. Thanks, Cannabis Culture.